What's up guys, good morning. Today's a rather important day. We are going down to Asbury Park, New Jersey, and we're gonna do a full run through of the show mascot. Complete workshop, cover to cover, in front of a live audience. We have a select group of people that are gonna come out to see the show tonight. Not a lot, maybe half a dozen or so. You just need to get the reps in for the show. I need to get the reps in for the show. These are people that I don't know, which I thought was rather important. Um, these are not family, these are not friends, these aren't people who are otherwise going to be supportive of me. I don't want people who I know after a show to be like, you did it, you did a great job, I love that. I really want people who don't know me from a hole in the wall and I wanna to see tonight if we can get them to laugh, if we can get them to cry, if we can get them to feel things. I'm gonna ask for some feedback after the show, hopefully we'll get some reactions from them too on camera and uh, I can gauge their feedback uh, as much as humanly possible. So that's the goal for tonight. I'm really excited. It's going to be about an hour and a half away drive. I'm going to meet up with a friend. We're going to drive down there, set up the show, do it for everybody, hopefully get some reactions afterwards, and take it from there. This is exciting, so come along with me on the journey. snack station. Over the Moon is um, an art collective slash workshop space, education space, event space, gallery space. So basically we have um, a collective of artists who all needed studio space. 12 artists that each run their own business here and this is their workshop. We just started doing performances mm -hmm. and if you know anybody who wants to perform, you know, send them my way. Um, so we've had a few fans here, we've had a few um, like performance art pieces here, we've had book readings. I wanted to create a space that was just more of like a place where creatives could all meet each other. So even though the artists have their art studio in the back, this isn't just a place for visual artists, it's a place for creatives of all types, like musicians, comedians. Um, I've had some really wacky performance artists here. <laughs> so um, really anyone who's creative is welcome to come perform it over the moon. One thing I learned about AA culture were the different roles that family members play in an alcoholic household. There's the dependent person, the enabler, the hero, the mascot, the lost child, and the scapegoat. And I think there are some others, uh, the cleric, the druid, the sorcerer. <laughs> I don't know, I've never played with the alcoholic family expansion pack. <laughs> or the core six, for sure. I have to say it was a beautiful mix of seriousness and also laughter, of pain and joy. Uh, it was very relatable and it was an experience that I will take home with me and cherish for a life. The show was incredible. It really was. I enjoyed every second of it. There were moments that made me laugh out loud. There were moments that really made me reflect on my own life and things that I've been through. It's very inspiring. It definitely inspired me, that is for sure and definitely gave me the drive to do more with my life as well. Hi, my name is Spencer. I'm a local around here. I was just kind of invited out to a comedy night and uh, pleasantly surprised. It, it, it came down to one of those things where you walk past so many people on your average day and you never think about what their story is and who knows if it's a story like that. And yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm still. It's an amazing performance. <laughs> I absolutely love the show, blending like the dark side of things with these fantastic jokes and he made such light of all the things that I have struggled with in my life. I'm like, did he write this show just for me? I had no idea what I was walking into tonight. I just heard some friends said they were going to like a comedy show. Uh, I just uh, finished seeing Ron Ryan's uh, show and I thought it was really powerful. 
Um, I think he did a great job of mixing comedy and drama together in a way that didn't feel forced or rather organic. I would say his name was Rob, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if you find yourself stuck in a routine rut and you need to feel feelings again and just have that remembrance of humanity and proper emotions and come to the show. I, I think this would be a very great experience for anyone that's kind of feeling in a rut in the moment and just kind of lost. I think it really helps bring perspective to a lot of things in life. A lot of what he said resonated with me, I have to say. I felt like I was triggered, but like in a good way. There are parts that felt like chapters. I had no idea 90 minutes went by. I, I could I could listen to that man talk forever. <laughs> It was a roller coaster the whole time. And the fact that he did it with comedy, no matter how dark it got, I think really drove it home. So please come see Rob Ryan. Um, he's captivating. He really tells his story and makes it really funny. I didn't expect to be so emotional and um, laugh as much as I did. So come see him. Don't miss it. You, you won't regret seeing him. So I think anyone who likes their comedy with a dose of emotion would really benefit or really probably enjoy the messages and themes of the show. It's very genuine and it's good to experience it. And even if you don't know if that's something that like you're prepared for, like you should still go and just experience it. They're witty, they're funny. Some moments will really catch you off guard. I would recommend it to anybody that needs a good laugh and wants to hear a good story. The jokes were funny so funny the timing was great and it was like such a relief when he went into the dark stuff it was like it was like a healing experience if you get a chance to catch this show come out see it it's funny it's deep it's incredibly profound and it's like a whole experience he takes you on this journey it's not like you're just seeing a regular comedian and i really fe felt like it touched me and i think it's going to touch a lot of people and be a healing experience for other people too, in addition to being super fun and funny. So if you get a chance, I want you to come out and see Mascot starring Rob Ryan. Go see Mascot because it's hilarious, it's brilliant, and it's heartwarming. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? It is 2 a.m. and I am just getting back to Washington Heights. I got cut off because I ran out of uh, space on my phone. So I just wanted to do a little post-mortem of how just wonderful the whole experience was. If you are doing uh, a performance, if you're writing your own solo show, anything, it's really invaluable to get that stuff up in front of a live audience. Um, it just gets the, the nerves just right. Um, you deliver it in a way that you just absolutely wouldn't if you were doing it by yourself. Everything's happening in real time. You only get one shot at it and that's it. And knowing that you only get the one shot, you just put a little bit of extra oomph into it. You forget things, you add things, you stutter, you make mistakes, but you recognize at the end of the day that you're just telling a story and people are paying attention to that story. And when you have real live people in front of you hanging on to your words, words that you've written a long time ago and practiced many times, but these people are hearing it for the first time, that's, that's the good stuff. That's when your brain starts to go into overdrive and you have to ground yourself and go, oh, right, they, they don't know this yet. So um, just an invaluable experience. Thank you so much to Over the Moon Art Studio for having me please if you are in the asbury park area if you're in the new jersey area at all uh go ahead and check out their stuff they're doing more live performances art music and they were gracious enough to have me we had a great turnout this is one of many um live workshops and performances that i'm going to be doing just for the run-up to the actual release of the show which i will be happily to tell you about we have so much more work to do uh, and I'm gonna bring you along on the journey we're gonna see some of the rehearsal process we still have yet to lock up a space I'm gonna you know show you some of the work that goes involved with that and I'm really excited because there's a community of other performers of other solo show artists that we're going to be able to watch and catch in the near future so please stay tuned to that please keep creating Please keep telling your stories. Never stop writing. Never stop putting your stuff out there. And I'll catch you guys later. Tomorrow.